Science, in this video I'd like to find the square root of 225, 256, 20, and 40 using a factor tree. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first we have the square root of 225. The first, first thing I like to do is create a factor tree. So for 225, I will, um, it's, I'll divide it by 5, and 5 goes into 225, 40, five times. I'll circle the five because it is prime. Now I know that five times nine equals 45 and then three times three equals nine. So now I'm going to rewrite the square root of 225 and I'm going to place under the radical sign five, five, three, and three because those are the prime numbers that add the prime factorization of 225. Now the rule is since I have a square root, I can, any pairs that I have, I can take out from under the radical sign. So I have two fives, so I'll take them out, and then I have two threes, and I'll take th the threes out. And now there is nothing left under the radical sign. Five times three is 15. So the square root of 225 is 15, and you can see you can use a factor tree to do that. Now let's work on 256. Okay, now with 256, I'm going to do the same thing. So I have the square root of 256, and I'm going to complete a factor tree. Okay, so let's begin with 2 times 128. Uh, I like to use 2s just because I think it's easy. And then one, 2 into 128 is 64. I'm circling the 2. Then 2 goes into 64 32 times. And then 2 goes into 32 16 times. And then 2 times 8 is 16. Then 2 times 4. A lot of 2s here. Uh, and then 2 times 2 is 4. Okay. So here's what I did. 256. 2 goes into 256. 128. Then 2 times 64, all the way down to I get, uh, I'm down to two prime numbers. Okay, so now I'm going to rewrite the square root of 256. And I'm sorry, it's getting a little messy, but I'll write it. And I'm going to put a check by each of the twos. So we have this two, and another two, and another two, and another one there, 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 and there. Okay, so now as you know the rule with square roots, if you have pairs, you can take them out from under. So there's one, two I can take out, and another one. And see, this one works out just right to where it's going to be. Uh, you have four twos, and then I just multiply these together, and that equals two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. So the square root of 256 is try the square root of 20 using a factor tree. So let's uh, complete a factor tree. 2 times 2 is 20. And then 2 times 5. Circle the 2's and the 5 because they are prime. Now I'm going to rewrite 20 with the prime numbers underneath. 2 times 2 times 5. Now the pair of 2's go out. So they're outside, but you still have uh, I don't know why I wrote that, excuse me. We have the 2's outside, and then the 5 is still left on the inside of the radical sign. So the um, exact square root of 20 is 2 square root 5. And we have one more, which applies a little bit different rule, and so let's work on 40. Okay, now we have the square root of 40 again. Uh, square root of 40. I'm going to start with a factor tree. 2, 20. Circle the 2, 2, 10. Circle the 2, 2, 5. And I'm down to prime numbers. Now I'm going to rewrite 40 under the radical sign as 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. The pair of 2's will go out of the radical sign. And so now I have 2 and 5 on the inside. I can then multiply these together. 2 times 5 is 
10. So the square root of 40 is 10. Thanks for watching, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math or science video every day. Please subscribe and share.